MG. It is a brand well known for their sports car heritage and producing beautiful classic open top roadsters. However, these days they are making small affordable SUVs, making things like this, the ZST. And pricing starts from just over 26,000 Australian dollars, which makes it a lower cost alternative to things like the Honda HRV, Ford Puma, Mitsubishi ASX, and a bunch of other small competitors in this segment. And in this review, I am going to tell you everything you need to know about it. And to do that, I am going to first run you through its model grades, talk about the design, interior features, its technology, practicality, and then I am going to drive it. Let's start this video talking about a brief overview about the ZST. So there are four model grades to choose from, along with two powertrain options, depending on the model grade you choose. And today I'm featuring the top specification Essence trim. And for this model grade, there are six colors to choose from. Black and white are a no-cost option, and the others will set you back $700. And lastly, before we start the tour, a big thank you to my channel sponsor, driver.com.au. They are designed to get you the best finance deal, comparing the best rates, and the whole quote can be done online within minutes with no impact to your credit score and there are no hidden fees and if you sign up using driver you are going to receive a free $150 fuel voucher only if you use my personalized link down below so let's continue on with the tour okay let's now talk about the design so this particular one is finished in pebble black it is a no-cost option and I think it looks pretty good in this color up the front you have a set of LED front headlights along with LED daytime running lights it also features front fog lights and a gloss black radiator grille and moving towards the side view of the ZST. The Essence features 17 inch alloy wheels. They are finished in gloss black with a two-tone machined finish. It also has these red brake calipers and you've also got black wheel arch cladding on all four corners along with roof rouse on the top here and rear privacy glass on the third quarter. And moving towards the rear design it features full LED rear tail lights with a 3D effect and down the bottom there's a rear diffuser along with two exhaust pipes that are fake but overall what do you think of the overall design? Design. Let me know your feedback in the comments down below, but for now, I'm going to move on to the interior. So before you climb inside, you have keyless entry, push ignition start, and a remote key. This is what the interior looks like, so fairly simple, but pretty good for its price point. And moving on to build quality, so it feels fairly solid. Up here, it's a little bit hard, but the rest of it feels really nice with this carbon effect on the doors and along the dashboard as well. Up the top is soft to the touch that is soft to the touch down here and on the armrest so compared to the mitsubishi asx the mg does feel a lot more premium and in terms of what's included with the essence model grade you have a panoramic glass sunroof heated seats in the front row with driver electric adjustment the seats are very comfortable as well however the steering only offers tilt adjustment not reach but overall you do have a nice commanding driving position now moving on to technology it all runs off this 10.1 touchscreen display and you can also control some of its functions with the manual controls down the bottom or the steering wheel shortcut buttons and you've also got a dedicated climate menu where you can activate your heated seats and the direction of flow and this is what the main display looks like so in terms of key features you have inbuilt satellite navigation with 3d mapping am and fm radio no digital radio and all the sound plays out of a six speaker audio system there's also apple carplay and android auto which are both wired and i'll show you what apple carplay looks like as you can see it does take up the full screen and moving on to safety, you have a 360 degree camera where you can cycle through different views around the car as well as looking at different parking views. And you've also got rear parking sensors and a rear cross traffic alert. And in terms of other key safety items, you have blind spot monitoring and you've also got adaptive cruise control, traffic sign, limit assist and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection. And ahead of the driver is a digital instrument cluster, only on the Essence model grade. It looks pretty clear and compared to the analog gauge cluster, it does make this car feel a little bit more modern, it shows you all the information you need to see. And lastly, moving on to practicality, we'll start with the door bins, pretty decent size and it can also hold a big bottle of water. You have a sunglasses holder up the top here, decent storage in the glove box as well and in the center that goes down pretty deep. It is a little bit narrow but enough for all of your belongings as well as two small cup holders in the center with a phone holder and a spot down here where you will find two USB-A charging ports and a 
12 volt socket. Now moving on to the back seats inside the ZST. So I'm a full size adult and I have this front seat set in my driving position. And as you can see, loads of knee room, loads of leg room and loads of headroom, considering this does have a panoramic glass sunroof. In addition to that, you have two USB-C charging ports, mat pockets behind the front seats and door bin storage that could fit a litre of water. And lastly, for baby seats, these two outboard seats are ISO fix compatible. And right behind me, there are free top tether points. Let's now move on to the boot space. So as you can see, there is a nice wide opening, 359 litres of boot capacity. And it also features a dual floor setup so you can lift this up and down depending on how bulky the items are. And underneath the floor is a space saver spare tire. And from the rear seats, you can drop the second row, revealing even more space. So overall, it is a pretty practical small SUV. Let's now move on to the powertrain. So both the Excite and the Essence feature a turbocharged 1.3 litre three cylinder engine opposed to the 1.5 naturally aspirated engine in the base models. And it's paired to a six speed automatic transmission instead of a CVT, producing 115 kilowatts and 230 newt meters of torque. Moving on to the driving experience, what is it like? So starting off with parking, reverse, good all around visibility, decent sized wing mirrors, and that 360 camera is actually quite helpful, especially with the gutter view. Not many cars have that feature within this price point. So as you can see, that is easy to do. The steering is also nice and light, so that makes it easy to maneuver around the city. In relation to the driving experience, so being the free cylinder, it is turbocharged with the six speed gearbox opposed to a CVT. So it is quite punchy when you hit the accelerator, but you can still dart it around. So it does have a bit of character, this car. Look, it's not gonna blow you away in terms of dynamics. However, there isn't anything in the segment that is designed to do that. It is just a car to drive around in. The engine also makes quite a nice, unique exhaust note. In terms of the way this car feels within its segment, Compared to a Mitsubishi ASX, it does feel more premium. So if you do want something with affordable service plans, good warranty, technology features, and reasonable comfort and premium features, then this car is right for you. So with the driving impressions out of the way, let's now wrap up this video with a verdict. So what is my final verdict on the MG ZST in the Essence trim? Well, for a top specification car, it does come with pretty much everything, along with a high riding driving position, all the technology features, and it is better to drive than an ASX Mitsubishi. So, although a pretty good alternative against its competitors. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next film.